Okay, so what do you do when you want to create a stool at the studio and you don't have material? Well, uh, beer bottles come to your rescue. And they really came to my rescue here. So um, in this process, I'm just trying to arrange them and see which one fits where and see um, which, what type of base, what, what measurement of base I will have to come up with. So for that to happen, of course, you're going to put your bottles upside down so that the bottom is facing up that will form the sitting area then you want them to be on a very flat surface so that all bottles are at the same level i was lucky enough to get bottles that are of the same height so and then you go ahead and cut the wood pieces that you will require to cut um, to create the base so also keep in mind that in this process we are going to be using the most basic tools. The only electric machine that I'm going to be using is a drill. Otherwise every other tool or thing that you need to use to create these pieces it's easily accessible and it's very easy to use. So the main materials I'm using here are planks of wood which are recycled from pallet wood and I'm also going to be using resin and uh, which is specifically clear uv resin and also you're going to be using a hand saw like like you're seeing and uh, nails screws wood glue a staple gun if need be and of course the bottles so most times when i'm woodworking i love to keep my staple gun in uh, in reach so that i can just put the pieces of wood together while i sand them or when, I, or when I glue them together so that they can dry and when I'm positioning them. So in this process, you want uh, to cut pieces of wood that will form the boundary of the base so that when we are going to pour in our resin, it doesn't spill out. Just making sure that you get the right measurement and you keep everything at a right angled degree. Then I normally use screws but in this process I chose to use nails because the resin also will act as glue so it will help in sealing the wood better. So I opted for the cheaper option which are nails and you can get those at any hardware. Also remember to add some wood glue to just enhance the bond of the wood. Then the next day um, I went ahead and cut the pieces that I had not attached to the side so that I complete the boundary of my base. The same same process wood glue nails Then with every step, just remember to uh, polish off the, any rough edges that you might find on the sides. Also, just to level up things, you can also use a hand planer. But if you don't have a hand planer, then you can make use of the sandpaper and repeatedly sand those pieces that are sticking out and then I also used an electric uh, sander but again you don't need this if you don't have one just use the sand sandpaper and then the next step we are going to seal off all the openings and the cracks this is because so that we if when we pour in our resin it doesn't spill off it doesn't spill out of our base so carefully um, seal off those those cracks, those holes using your silicone. You can get a silicone tube 
at around 250 to 300 shillings at your local hardware. It took me a while because I was ensuring that I filled out all the cracks that are in the wood, even at the back, at the side. Just make sure that there is no crack or opening that is uh, visible at that moment. Because when you pour in the resin, and if you have cracks, it will spill out. Then the next step, uh, clean the bottles, ensure that there is no residue on the surface. This is to ensure that the resin will stick uh, perfectly to your glass bottle and hence holding the glass bottle to the surface. And then we arrange the bottles on our surface, ensuring that you've spaced them e equally so that they are centered and also bring, them, bring each bottle together so that you have a flat surface to sit on. And then now comes the fun part. Pour in your first layer of resin. Pour in your second layer of resin. Then just before I poured in my third coat of resin, I just decided that let me save some resin by bringing the boundary closer to the bottle. So I used a copper tubing that I cut into two pieces and I applied silicone sealant. Then I attached right at the end of that line of the bottle. Then I also attached on the other side. This is to ensure that we've reduced the surface area where we are going to pour in our resin. And it also enhances um, the, the strength that the bottles will be held at. So again, make sure you've sealed um, all the edges, all the endings of the tubing, so that when we are going to pour in our third, resin coat then it's going to be sealed like that then let it dry for one hour ensure that all spaces have been filled up we don't want any spillage and then we are going to pour in our third layer and we pour in our fourth layer then we pour in our fifth layer of resin and then again I realized that I had filled up that uh, boundary so I needed to add more so in this case I'm using um, a curtain rail made of aluminium so again we are going to use silicone and we are going to um, place it on top of the other tube so that it raises around a centimeter of uh, the boundary so that we can pour in more coats of resin and make our bottles more compact, more strong and durable. So again, ensure that you filled up all the spaces. Then we are going to pour in our sixth layer of resin. And then now um, I pre-created another base so that I raise my stool higher so that it's comfortable even when I'm sitting on the floor. So it's around 14 centimeters added to the uh, 10 centimeters that we had created before and the bottles are like 20 centimeters so in total we have like um, um, 50 centimeters height so this is to make it more comfortable and raised to raised from the ground and so again before i finally attach my screws I'm just going to make use of my staple gun just to hold them in place. Then I'm going to mark where I'm going to drill. Then I went ahead and drilled the spaces where we are going to attach our screws. Then I attached um, a screw bit. Then I went ahead and attached the both pieces together. So 
So remember, you don't have to use screws. You can use nails or whatever you have at your disposal. And so with our tool being almost done, we are not going to install wheels. These ones have upcycled from a toy motorcycle. This is to make it uh, more easy to pull, more easy to move around because the bolts make it heavier. And also I'm going to install a handle so that I can handle it from that other side, lift it a little bit, then pull it while I am working. So in this case, the best uh, way I found is to attach it using screws. It's easier, it's faster. And that's it, I'm done. I'm not going to give it a test run, just to see if the wheels are working and to see the balance. It's quite easy to, to pull and to move around. And I'm happy with the project. So I decided to give the stool a test run and see how it feels working with it. So most times when I need a low level stool, I'm working through my material and I love the, the position and the height and everything about it. I hope that you enjoyed watching this project. If you did, leave a like, share with a friend and I hope you'll put it into practice. Check below for the description for the material and where you can find this material. Thanks again for watching. Please consider subscribing for great content. Until next time.